Hi, everybody. Um, Proverbs 31.25 says, She is clothed in strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. I love this verse. It is such an encouragement to me to be strong and fearless in God every day. I was born into a Christian family, and I accepted Jesus into my heart at a young age, somewhere between 8 and 11, mostly because I was scared of going to hell. Yes, I knew the gospel story, but I didn't know and wasn't ready for the way it could shape my life. In my teen years, I went through a scary phase of lukewarm Christianity. I went to church, I did mostly the right things, and I tried to keep up in my personal time with the Lord, but my heart wasn't in it. Deep down, I was really insecure. I looked to others for affirmation, not to God. I tried to please all the people in my life and not my God. I was worried about anything and any, everything I could think to worry about. I put my energy into the what-ifs instead of into God's truth. About a year ago, I started really questioning my personal beliefs. I felt challenged by God to reach out and to find out who he is to me. I felt challenged to trust him, to tell him my fears, and to rest in his presence. In the fall of last year, I started coming to Wallenstein, looking to find where I could live out my life for God. And today, I am so happy to be able to be baptized, to stand in front of you and say that I believe in God, that he took and forgave my sins, and that he is my Savior and King. 2 Corinthians 5.20 says, Therefore, we all are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. This verse has been a challenge and an encouragement to me to live every day as a proud ambassador of God. Thank you for being here today to share in this next step with me, and I ask that you pray I might keep God, keep being the godly ambassador in all that I do. The elders have chosen a verse for you, Brooklyn, and it is, whatever happens, conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, Philippians 1, verse 27. So based on your testimony and confession of faith in Christ Jesus, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Way to go. Thank you.